Welcome to Red Spot News. I'm Rinju John. Let's look at the headlines of the day. Protests escalate in Aligarh University. Will evacuate Aligarh Muslim University today. Will send all students home, says UP Police Chief O.P. Singh. Election Commission seeks explanation from Rahul Gandhi over his rape in India remark. Explanation is sought on the complaint made by BJP leader Smriti Irani. US to carry out test launches of two missiles and INF based intermediate range missile tested successfully. Now, the news in detail. After the violence in Jamia Millia Islamia over the Citizenship Act, protests broke out in Aligarh University. Yesterday evening, police entered the campus after a clash and the recent report is that the students will be evacuated from Aligarh University campus and will be sent home. Let me go across to my colleague Babna Vijayan who is joining us with details. Just get us an idea about the current situation. Are things peaceful there, Babna? Uh, the president on Thursday approved the citizenship amendment bill amid wide protest going on in Assam and Tripura against the bill. In the protest in Guwahati, two people were killed in a police firing on Thursday. Uh, now, uh, now the situation is like the curfew has been relaxed for six hours in Guwahati, but it will be reimposed at 1 p.m. People can be seen rushing to get ration. Uh, also, the situation seems to be relaxed now, but the but the but with the president of India signing the bill, we cannot be really sure if the situation remains the same. People have now vowed to continue opposing the bill and they are of the demand that they'll never accept the citizenship amendment bill at any cost. Also, 106 passenger trains have been suspended. 20 other long-distance trains uh, from various parts of the country have been suspended till Guwahati considering, considering the situation Rinju. Thank you, Bhavna, for joining us. Moving on to the next news. Jharkhand Chief Electoral Officer has sought a report from Rahul Gandhi over his rape in India remark based on a complaint by the BJP leader Smriti Irani. Based on a delegation moved by the BJP, the Jharkhand CEO has asked the report. He will ask for a sorry, he will also ask for the clip of the speech which was given by Rahul Gandhi. Mr. Gandhi is given a period of two weeks to make his response over the matter. The US plans to carry out test launches of two new medium range missiles that were previously banned by the intermediate range nuclear forces. U.S. plans to test two new intermediate-range land-based missiles. One is a cruise missile with a range of more than 1,000 kilometers and another one with a range of over 3,000 kilometers. On Thursday, U.S. successfully tested an INF band ground-based intermediate-range missile in California. According to Defense Department, the missile flew more than 498 kilometers before it was terminated over the ocean. The INF treaty signed by the U.S. and the Soviet Union in 1987 was terminated on August 2, 2019 at the U.S. initiative after it formally suspended its INF obligation six months earlier. Both Russia and U.S. have accused each other of violating the 1987 agreement which banned any ground-launched ballistic and cruise missiles with range of 500 to 5,500 kilometers. News Desk, Red Spot News. Before we go, here are the headlines once again. Protests escalate in Aligarh University, will evacuate Aligarh Muslim University today, will send all students home, says UP Police Chief O.P. Singh. <music> Election Commission seeks explanation from Rahul Gandhi over his rape in India remark. Explanation is sought on the complaint made by BJP leader Smriti Irani. <music> US to carry out test launches of two missiles and INF based intermediate range missile tested successfully. That's all from the English News Test. Thank you for watching Red Spot News. You are watching Red Spot News.